Hello guys! This is such a strange video to start on my own in the outdoor gym. I'm sure there would have been some videos before this and this is kind of like going to be a jump back in time because I have just, well, I found out I was pregnant last week. So I'm very, very early days at this stage and I really wanted to do a like first trimester, come with me on my first trimester right from the start through till the end of the first trimester. Um, when I was pregnant with Amber, I really, really struggled um, in my first trimester. And I think one of the big things that I struggled with was the whole like, hush, hush, don't talk about it. You're meant to kind of just get on with your normal life. We obviously have been vlogging, have been doing this and that. You guys know I'm a sharer. I love sh just telling stories, sharing, talking with my friends, my family and you guys. Um, and it really helps me get through things. And so, I am feeling really anxious about this first trimester, seeing as I struggled so much with oh, Amber's waving at me. <laughs> so I thought what I really wanted to do was have this going on behind the scenes where I can just come and talk to you guys. And it's probably gonna be a really complainy, cry, emotional vlog because that's what my first trimester was like with Amber. I'm gonna be going into it with a positive, I'm going into it like, I'm gonna be fine. I'm not even gonna have morning sickness. Like what is throwing up after every bite of every food like I did with Amber? It's not gonna happen this time. Like that was just a one-off with Amber. I'm going into it feeling like that. But whatever happens, I've got you guys to share, to talk to, to cry to. So I just wanted to say a pre-warning that this vlog probably is gonna be quite complainy, quite, oh, I'm so tired and this and that. And it's kind of mostly for me, for anyone that wants to watch it, for anyone that's going through their first trimester and just kind of wants to hear other people complaining. I don't know who this video is for, but I really wanted to make it. And I hope that you maybe enjoy it. <laughs> I'm turning five weeks tomorrow. My morning sickness and kind of overall nurse with Amber started at around six weeks. So yeah, we've still got another week until potentially, you know, things kick off. But right now I'm feeling great. Bump up day. <laughs> you guys know, I'll be giving you one of these all the time. So this is just my belly. <laughs> this is not a bump. This is not anything to do with pregnancy apart from potentially bloating. So yeah, I do have a little bump which is just skin and just normal. So whether you're pregnant or not and you've got that little bump, that's just normal. Doesn't have to be a baby. Doesn't have to be a baby to be cute. Be cute as heck, just be in your belly. But this is gonna get a heck of a lot bigger. But anyway, I've talked for long enough. Um, I can't wait to just chat you guys through everything. And yeah, thank you so much for being here. And I'm so unbelievably excited to be pregnant again. Oh, I could cry. I'm just sleeping next door, so I'm whispering a little bit, but um, I am now, it hasn't been that long since I last vlogged, but I am five and a half weeks, which is so exciting. And I still feel fine. I've still got a little bit of a cold that I had lingering. So that's probably what I'm feeling the most mixed with a bit of first trimester tiredness. Um, and like the hormones of like, um, not, like anger. I hated that with my first trimester with Amber. Like everything annoyed me. Like I stubbed my toe, I'd be like, fuming. It, you know, something so minor can like really set me off and I'm like, oh, and I get so annoyed by it and so angry. I hate feeling angry. Like I literally hate it. And I found that literally only when I'm pregnant or was pregnant with Amber, I felt these bouts of anger and like emotion that I like felt like I couldn't control. And so I've been having a bit of that and I've been like, oh my God, I didn't have this at all since literally the first trimester with Amber. And I just hate it. It's a horrible feeling, but I know it's normal in pregnancy. I know it's all like hormonal changes. Like honestly, just what our body goes through is crazy. But apart from that, I'm feeling great. I'm like starting to get excited. I'm like, oh my God, maybe I won't have morning sickness. Maybe I'll be like one of those people that just doesn't even notice I'm pregnant. I'm just, what? Oh my God, I forgot. Cause I just don't even feel uh, first trimester vibes. But I'm also not feeling too optimistic because I did start feeling sick with Amber at about six, six and a half weeks. So I still got another week to go. Okay. So I'm currently six plus one. <laughs> I knew this would happen as soon as I got to six weeks. So why do I always feel hopeful? Always, I've had one of the child. The nausea's kicked in, guys. I don't know if it's gonna get worse, but right now it feels like super manageable. I can't really remember with Amber if it just like, when I had Amber, if it just like came all at once or whether it just got worse over the first few days. But like, I feel like I've been feeling it since yesterday. And now it definitely feels like that just feeling of, I can't eat, I don't wanna eat, I just feel sick. I just feel that like that kind of shaky, shaky thing in my stomach. I'm trying to make myself some pasta and I just don't even wanna look at it. Like shaky, I feel really shaky, like I'm gonna be sick. Now, 
the thing I think I struggled with the most with Amber was the anxiety of being sick. So I've spoken about this before. I don't like to say I have a phobia because I know that some people have an actual phobia and I would never want to like belittle a metaphobia, which is the fear of being sick. But I think in like I have at one point in my life had a metaphobia. I couldn't even be near anyone that even said they felt unwell. I had to leave. Even if they were like, oh God, I just feel a bit, I'd be gone because I couldn't cope with the thought of someone even being sick. I've come a long, long way since then. Um, and especially my first pregnancy, not cured my fear of being sick, but really helped because I was forced to be sick all the time. And so I'm kind of taking that pressure off myself this time. Look, if it happens, it happens. I just don't want to live in that mid balance where I feel nauseous and like I want to be sick all the time, but I'm like paralyzed by my fear of it happening. I just want to be like, Karis, leave that now. Like, you've done it, you can do it. James is there for you. I am going to cry. I'm going to cry the whole time if I'm sick. I'm going to cry, I'm going to feel panicked, and then I'm going to probably feel a bit better after. <clears throat> so, I'm very thankful for my first trimester with Amber and how it's relieved a lot of my anxiety of being sick. Don't get me wrong, I still literally like, whew, do not want to think about it. But if it happens, I know I'm just going to let it happen. I'm probably going to feel better. And so, I don't. I'm trying to stay positive and not live in that limbo of, oh no, what if I'm sick? Because that's how I spent my like a lot of my first trimester with Amber. My friend who's currently pregnant, she's just had to go on medication because she like was literally throwing up like all the time. So for anyone going through that, I don't even know what to say to you, that you're an absolute hero, that you can cry and feel upset and feel angry and feel frustrated as much as you want because those feelings are so freaking valid. I'm gonna cry, I'm gonna get emotional feel really guilty then for like struggling because you're like I'm gonna be enjoying my pregnancy like it's so magical <laughs> but no it's okay if you feel like you literally just want to roll up in a ball and just not be okay like I'm sending you the okayness to do that and let yourself off the hook because it's freaking hard yeah anyway catch up with you guys soon <laughs> so um, 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 I'm six and a half weeks I really miss being five weeks and I felt good. I feel horrendous. I have slept for hours today. I woke up at six with Amber. Um, I feel like I, I like breathe quite heavy, like I'm not out of breath at all. Like it's just, I think it's like a nausea slash then anxiety mixed in with the nausea. Like makes me kind of feel like I need to control my breathing all the time. Um, I feel so nauseous and so tired. I swear I didn't get this tired with Amber. I've napped for so long today. I, and I've only been up for a few hours and I'm like dropping back off. I feel like I could just go back to sleep. My whole body just feels like it's like shutting down. <laughs> I told you this vlog was just gonna be a ramble of complainingness. Now I have Amber and it's just the worst mum guilt in the world when you're, I just wanna be able to pick her up and run around and swing her around and be that happy mum at 6am and I know it's gonna get better I know it's a first trimester thing and I've just got to think like that at the moment to just get me through because I just can't wait for this to be over and for me to be able to be back to my normal self and be in the best moment I can be for Amber I'm fine Soon. Hello guys, so I am currently um, seven weeks ish and I'm walking, walking, that's all I've done today, got my backpack on and I'm going to pregnancy yoga with this little tiny, it's not a bump guys, it's my belly as it looked seven weeks ago before I got pregnant <laughs> but I still think it's nice to appreciate but yeah I have booked myself in to pregnancy yoga, which I'm a little bit nervous about. Um, I did like loads of classes when I first had Amber. I just haven't done any since. And like, I feel like it'll just be a really good thing to like push me a bit outside my comfort zone um, and kind of help with my anxiety and things like that. And just kind of, I don't know, get me meeting people that are pregnant. And it'll just be really nice. Like things like this make me so, so anxious to book. And I always put it off. I'm like, yeah, I'll do something like pregnancy classes. And I never do. And I was like, right, come on, Karis. It's the same woman that did my like mum and baby when I first had Amber. Same woman that did those classes. So like I know her, it's a familiar face. She's so nice. So yeah, it should be really nice. And it's like walking distance from my house as well. So I'm walking there now. Feelings lately, like the nausea has died down a little bit, 
which I'm so thankful for, but I have a feeling this nausea in this pregnancy is gonna be like more of a roller coaster because some days I'll have really, really bad. Like I just feel like in the toilet all day. And then some days like today, I'm feeling better, but I feel much more tired than I did with Amber, which is strange, um, but every pregnancy is different. Um, and yeah, my main symptom I would say at the moment is just exhaustion. I couldn't even explain it to James. It was just like, I felt like severely, severely hungover 24 seven, no matter how much I slept, no matter how much extra sleep I got, I just felt horrendous. So that's all fun and games, but yeah, I'm really excited for the pregnancy class um, and it's literally right there. So I'm going in now and I'll let you know how it goes. I'm nervous. So I've just finished the yoga class. Oh, I'm just gonna clean the camera lens. One second, there we go, that might be a bit better. Yes, I just finished the yoga class, it was so nice. Like I said, it was the same lady that I did my mum and baby yoga with and she like remembered me and was like, oh, it's been quick for you to be here, back here again with another pregnancy. I didn't do the pregnancy with her, but I did the mum and baby. I was like, I know, but it's actually only, um, so Amber's 15 months at the moment, but there's 23 months, there will be 23 months between the babies. So it's actually like, not that kind of quick, but it feels really quick. And like, everyone's kind of like, oh, that's so quick to be pregnant again. And I'm like, I know it feels like it as well, but also at the same time, it's actually crazy how quickly you have to get pregnant again to have like a two year age gap, which I feel like is actually quite a common age gap. Age gap, <laughs> gap. going up at the end of all my sentences. Anyway, it was just, um, it was lovely to see all their bumps. Like they were all kind of like 20, 27, 30 weeks and they had all these lovely bumps. And I was like, I'm seven weeks. I felt like it was quite early to go there um so i was expecting that anyway but uh it was really nice actually because my um my friend who recommended me to go she'd gone who i met at the mum and baby yoga with her she'd gone to the pregnancy yoga the one i'm going to now with her first baby and she had gone right from the start she was like i literally went since i first found out i was pregnant um, and she said it was the best thing. Like she felt like it was the thing that helped her the most in labor. So I was like, honey, I'm gonna get on this now. So I'm glad I started early. Um, I found the class really, really helpful. Like, to be honest, I didn't realize how stiff I was until I started stretching. Like the stretches were very, very pregnancy safe and very, very simple. And I was like, I'm struggling. I'm struggling to literally put my hands up, put my hand behind my back, ooh, stretch. Um, so yeah, I felt like it actually did quite a bit considering I don't know, that it looked simple. It didn't feel simple. Um, anyway, I've talked for so long on this one little clip. I'm only seven weeks. How long is this video gonna be, guys? This is meant to be first whole first trimester. But it feels lush to be updating you guys and just chatting you through how everything's going. Um, so yeah, I'll catch up with you guys soon. Uh, so it is currently half 11 um, in the morning. Why is it doing that? Is it going? I don't know what's happening to the light. Um, I'm gonna go for a nap. I literally nap whenever Amber naps. She was up at 6 a.m. this morning, so we've just been with her. Like, half the time, I just lie like a sausage on the floor. She just puts all her toys on top of me and stuff. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I'm doing my little first trimester vlog. It's not going too well, is it? Um, first trimester. Yeah. It was a bit tough. <laughs> it was a bit tough for you, bless you. It was last time. It was last time, but this time, then. I used to love, I loved the first semester, selfishly, because <laughs> I used to think, yeah, I'll just lie in with you <laughs> until half ten. Yeah, we keep um, saying that. It's a lot harder with a baby. <laughs> I think we just slept all the time. Like, we definitely lay into, like, ten. Had naps, nothing to worry about. We just freaking hate the first trimester. Like, I don't understand why we have to feel like this. I don't understand. I literally just, why? <laughs> I mean, I do understand. It's your hormones and all that stuff. But honestly, like, I despise the first trimester. <laughs> and it's not always, it's not the same for everyone, you know? Like, some people don't even know, we have literally no symptoms at all. And some people have way worse symptoms than me. Actually, since the day I brought Amber home from the hospital, nights that she's been screaming up all night, like all nighters, days in a row, no, nothing even touches the surface of how I feel in the first trimester. Oh, I'm not going to cry again. I've done so much crying. And that's the doorbell. Oh my God. Oh, I've got to go and get the doorbell. Wish me luck. Guys, I'm 
guys so I thought I would do um, a quick little update so Amber is sleeping next door so I do tend to keep my voice down even though I don't need to because she can't hear me from here but it's just like a subconscious thing I, if I'm whispering that'll be why so I'm eight weeks um it's currently <laughs> the like heat wave time because I feel like well this will be a memorable time, but obviously you're going to be seeing this video like in the future, like way, like it's basically winter now when you'll be seeing this video. Flashing back to that heat wave, guys, in the UK when it was like the highest registered heat temperatures. My pregnancy brain is literally like mush. And yeah, it's not fun in the heat with nausea. So the biggest thing that I'm struggling with at the moment is smells. I think I spoke a lot about this in my like when I did a little overview of my first trimester with Amber um, I talked a lot about the smells and it was something really strange that I'd never experienced before and I haven't experienced it again since my first trimester ended with Amber up until now. I have a strong sense of smell anyway in general life like if someone's chewing a gum from like 10 meters away I'm like mmm minty um, but in pregnancy, in first trimester, something happens in my body, I can literally smell every grain of wood in this house and it is so nauseating, I can't even explain it. I have to hold my nose when I go to the bathroom because you've got like a wooden cabinet, a wooden vanity and it like floods my, you know like when you walk into Lush and it's just overwhelming, it's literally like 10 times that but with every smell, like some weird wood smell. If James has gone in the shower, and he's used some sort of wash, I'm like, don't come near me. I literally, I'm gonna throw up. Because you smell so fresh. And that does not smell good for me, apparently. And I find it really, really hard because I found it really hard at the first trimester with Amber um, that I struggled with the smell of Mila. And obviously I loved Mila so dearly. And now I struggle with the smells of Amber. And I find that, I'm gonna cry again, but I'm fine, really, really upsetting because I don't want to, I don't want to not like the smell of my baby. I usually love her smell, like I could literally sniff her all day, like her head, her hair. I just want to bundle her in and sniff her and now the smell of her hair makes me feel sick. And I hate it, I literally hate it. Like not I hate the smell, I hate that it makes me feel nauseous, like smelling my own child. I do not like that one bit, but yeah, like everything's, I don't even think like Amber knows anything else is going on, do you know what I mean? Like we're still rocking up at 6am, playing as we usually do, and we got like loads of, she's at a really, really nice age at the moment where she's like really independently playing a lot, and then she gets quite like needy and a bit kind of like mushy at times and wants to be held all the time so I got like my hip carrier and I can hold her but yeah at the moment in the sun like we've got a nice shade we've got like a water table and she plays with it like all day and then I'd say the second thing that I'm struggling with the most is my skin I don't know how well you can see in this video uh just checking in the mirror to see if it's still flared but I've got swollen eyes as I usually get my little swollen eyelid and then like my eczema which like hasn't really flared up on my arms and legs and stuff in a long time so it kind of properly flared up all over my body. I'm very, very itchy and I got this a lot in the first trimester with Amber as well. Um, something about the first trimester just makes me super dehydrated. It literally drains all the living life and water, everything out of me. And I just feel really dehydrated and I think that then gets reflected in my skin because my skin is super dry, itchy. Um, and I just kind of have to keep moisturising and drinking as much water as I can without... Um, it coming back up. And also we're going to book in like a... Pre uh, <laughs> my words aren't coming out an early pregnancy scan just like we had with amber um my friend who's like literally a week ahead of me went for hers the other day and i just think that they're a really good like motivation in this time when like in my opinion this is the hardest part of pregnancy obviously i don't know how this pregnancy is going to go but um i think it's a really nice like motivation you get to hear your baby's heartbeat like that just makes me so emotional like i haven't even really had the proper time to like let it sink in that like there's an actual human grown inside me even though he or she is literally the size of a blueberry right now but yeah hearing their heartbeat for the first time is like super special I'm very emotional as well I find I'm just emotional in pregnancy in general I feel like there's been so many tears in this video but yeah when you hear the little heartbeat like it's really really motivating and like it just keeps you going I just find this bit so hard. I just don't feel like Karis at all. 
right now and I just can't wait to feel a bit more like me and um yeah I just hope everything's going well with baby um so it would be nice to like have a scan and kind of get that checked out and like yeah hear the heartbeat and see the little little kidney bean on the screen that would be so nice but yeah I'm still only eight weeks at the moment we got a bit of a long way to go this is the end of the first trimester about 14 weeks actually I started feeling better with Amber so that's more like six weeks time but yeah uh, that's my update and I'll catch up with you guys soon hello <laughs> that sounded like hello <laughs> been watching too many uh Miss Rachel's oh I still got a blooming I've just been talking about just been sat there talking about um i've just been filming some collabs with lv today and i've just been sat there literally i've just been sat there for like oh my god i've said i've just been sat there for like literally 100 times now. for about an hour just on my phone feeling like an absolute zombie with that in my bra didn't even notice that's how comfy it is but yeah i've just been filming obviously this isn't sponsored or anything by lv um but i've just been filming some little bits for my story it's like when i'm filming this back in july it's breastfeed world breastfeeding week in like first of august first week of august this year so yeah i've been doing some stories and like some q and a's because i've been working with them um talking about like pumping and breastfeeding and all that um and it was so i'm just wondering how much mess you can see let's just get the mess out there it's fine it's like the one clean bit of my dressing room the rest is an absolute haystack haystack Pigsty. As soon as I saw the pump, it just like brought back all the memories of like breastfeeding Amber, like pumping, like oh my god, like it's just crazy. Like it reminds me of having a newborn and like feeling so unfamiliar with like all those things that come with having a newborn and like we're gonna do it all over again. I, I can't believe it guys. Like I literally still can't believe it. You know, it's still so early, only eight and a half weeks. Um it just feels so so kind of not real yet, um, which is always why it's so hard when it, when it is so hard at the beginning but yeah i'm having a good day today we've got on like and we booked a scan for about nine weeks um so we got that in a few days which i'm really excited about and yeah i just dropped amber earlier off at my mum's so i'm gonna go and pick her up now um and yeah i'll catch up with you guys soon hello so i think it's literally like a couple of days later from when i last vlogged do you remember the vlogging camera we haven't been vlogging in so long wow say hello Hiya! She's got her little poppets. She's focusing on her whatever they call it. Yeah. Are they called poppets? Yeah, you can come up here with me now. What'd you say? Hug. 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 Hug's her new word. Hug. She's got a little hugger. So, what was I going to say? <laughs> yeah, I know. You haven't seen this in so long. What's it like? Do you miss vlogging? Mummy does. Yeah, you can play with your little puppet. This thing's great. She literally just pops the pops the circles so <laughs> now so it's scan day today we're gonna see puppy we're gonna see puppy we are we're gonna drop amber at my mum's just because we think it'll be better for me and james just go on our own just because you know we can show you the pictures and videos but i don't know i just i've always feel very very nervous for the first scan or first anything and i just yeah i just mentally feel like it'll be better for us to go just us two like period where we are right now in the first trimester is when we've taken the time offline um which i know when this video goes up will be a little while back now but i was thinking and chuckling in my head thinking i'm glad we're taking this time off because i feel like you guys would have just known i was pregnant so i wouldn't have been doing my tea my little tea caris making ketchup so i would have had to pretend to make my tea because i literally every vlog i make two or three cups of tea and just chat to you guys in this location in my first trimester I do not drink tea. It was the same with Amber. It was the same with you. Cheeky monkey, cheeky monkey. Put me off tea, did you? And this bubby done the same as you. <laughs> both. You're both troublemakers, you are. <laughs> Here we have James. You haven't even been Hello. in this vlog so far. I know. How Hello. far from the difference you are? Like 10 minutes, quarter of an hour, half an hour? Do you know what? I honestly don't know. No, it's all just... About an hour and a half to a three hour vlog, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> honestly, I said to James, this vlog is going to be so long. Like. I just have like so much to say but to be fair I feel like I've been doing it in very short snippets because half the time I've just been literally updating from my bed going I feel like poo bye <laughs> early on I was really positive when you were updating in the gym yeah and, oh yeah, my gosh right, I know it's just been in bed no that's hilarious actually because the first like when I started the vlog in the gym I was like I'm gonna come out here every morning and do my stretches 
Is this first three mornings? -ish? Yeah, that's gone well. Um, so yes, you haven't even seen James, haven't really spoken much, but James Hello. has been unreal. Like guys, I know I always talk about James and how amazing and supportive he is, but I cannot even explain to you how amazing he's been. Like, you let me lie in every morning, he gets up with Amber at 6 a.m. Um, and I, yeah, just having that extra little bit where I can just, because the morning. four and a half hours. No, guys. I only go till eight. Okay. I that get a nice true. lie until eight. But he do the whole wake me up at <laughs> eight, and then every morning I wake up between half eight and nine, and you're like, oh, that's I'm like, nice. oh god, yeah. If Oops, I didn't put my alarm on. Half an hour. I get um, up on the dog walk, and I'm like, she's still up. <laughs> I know. I know. I've been treated like a princess, but yeah, I just I said to James, look, James, this is probably my last first trimester. You know, we have food too. We we'll, we'll see. But I'm treating it as if because you know I'm trying to appreciate every minute. But also at the same time I'm milking every minute because I'm like this could be the last one, so I'm just gonna lie in bed. Um, because yeah, I have been feeling pretty rotten. Um, I guess if you know that you you know you really want like six kids. <laughs> yeah. You know, six times three months is like a vast period. Got to get on with it, and you. But you know, if you're just doing it the once more. You We've got to milk it. Those three months, right? I know. I am trying, <laughs> and I'm definitely like there's ups and downs. Like I'm feeling really good at the moment, but earlier I feel I feel like today's been weird. I've been feeling good in myself, but then I've been throwing up, haven't I, randomly? Yeah, yeah. And James is just the sweetest. I just can't imagine what how I would do these things without you. And I said afterwards to James, I was like, that wasn't my proudest moment. And James was like, what? That is your proud moment. He was like, you just did something that you absolutely hate, obviously, and was horrible, and you survived it. You should be so proud. And I was like, that's such a nice way to look at it. <laughs> so yeah, just summing up there, he's been an absolute angel. I can't, uh, can't okay. even yeah, that's right, I guess so. understand. Oh, wow, that does look fun. Um, so yeah, we're off to the scan now. Um, how are you feeling? I'm really excited. I get I'm nervous really for the first one. I know, I'm not Just nervous at all. Really? It's nice to be able to have that reassuring scan. Yeah. But obviously, it's, yeah. I bet you're, ner you're nervous because I keep saying it's twins. Oh, goodness, yeah, we would find out if it was not going to be twins. Yeah. <laughs> I can say to James. People have said that the first year twins. of you know having two is hard enough. I can't imagine it. Having you, know, you went from one to three. One to three. Oh. No. Oh, we'd have to get a living grandmother. <laughs> oh, I know. I was like, get a living nanny. Let's get a living grandmother. Just something to have, honestly. That like twins must be so incredibly. Yeah. Just on another planet, isn't it? It's on another level. And then you got triplets. I can't even. I won't even go there. I can't even. I can't even. Like, mums are superheroes, but then you just take it to the next level when you have the multiples in one go. My brain can't wrap around it, but I keep saying to James, I just think it's twins. Like, I I've just no got idea. a feeling. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I Your don't mum know. instinct. I don't really get mum instinct much, but I keep saying I think it's twins, but I think I'm just winding James up. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, we're very excited. Hey guys, so it is now. Sorry, I feel and look like a bit of a disheveled mess at the moment. And I'm just gonna wipe the camera. Every time I start filming, I think there's grease all over the camera. I think that actually did make it better. So we didn't vlog after the scan, um, cause the scan was much more emotional than we thought it was gonna be. Um, and we definitely took a few days to like recover and just kind of get our thoughts together and just take time for ourselves. Because I know like literally the last clip that we did before the um before this one so like this on the way to the scan and um, obviously i've been saying that i was saying to james like i felt like it was twins i don't know how much i did like expanded on that point um but uh yeah like i had told my friends and family like right from the start like i kind of had this weird thing that i thought it was twins i never usually get stuff like that like i don't like i'm not like oh i think it's a girl i think it's a boy and it was like really strange um but it also kind of like went into a bit of a joke between me and james because we were like oh like you know as we were like joking about in the car like how hard twins would be when we went into the scan they found obviously the healthy baby healthy heartbeat um it was measuring a little bit small um which i think was like made sense after they did find like a second mass um next to the other baby um and they predicted it to be a twin so one uh another baby that hadn't made it so it was really really small um and it obviously hadn't yeah it, it wasn't um viable so 
there was one healthy baby in there which was so amazing and was all we ever wanted from that scan but also there was quite a lot of emotion in the scan like experience because they found this second mass and they really wanted to explore like whether they could get a better angle of it and you know they took a lot of time kind of exploring seeing what it was and, and whether they could find a heartbeat um, and I think that time for me and James like was really really hard and both of us like unexpectedly were like desperate for them to find that other heartbeat um, I didn't know that at the time but like we were just kind of silent the whole time and then afterwards when we were talking about it like James was saying how much he like really wanted him to find a heartbeat and how upset he was when he didn't find the heartbeat um which I think was yeah like it was just a really strange emotion to process like and although like we, we wanted to be really happy and we are so happy now that we've taken that time to just be like okay we felt really sad and emotional about the what ifs we couldn't help but think like what if that baby had you know thrived and survived like the other like the other baby had yeah and and so we needed to take a bit of time to just like be okay with being sad about that and you know yeah there was just lots of emotions going through our head with that um but then also you know we wanted to come around to feeling really happy because all we ever wanted was one healthy baby and we feel so grateful to have a healthy baby that is measuring a bit small um in comparison to the weeks so it was measuring a week practically a week smaller than my um gosh I got really sore throat than my dates from the first day of my last period which is like how they kind of measure it at the start so I was meant to be like nine weeks when I went for that scan and the baby was measuring only eight weeks so it's super early days like and the measurements can he was saying that the measurements can absolutely be that far off you know the baby could actually be measuring at nine weeks it's just they couldn't get a good picture of the baby or whatever so um I'm not really concerned about that and also maybe that wouldn't make sense if it, if it was a twin um maybe you know I know twins measure smaller um so yeah obviously we are so so happy that we have a healthy baby growing in my tummy and we're so excited um but the emotions feel different still they feel like we feel and it's funny that we've got the same joint emotion and that we both kind of said it at the same time to each other when we were talking about it. We suddenly now feel really protective over the baby that is in there. Yeah, so even though we're so excited and we're so um, grateful, really, I think we feel more emotions that we didn't feel with Amber. We feel like a lot of protection and a lot of, we want to keep checking that he or she is okay and that, I don't know, I feel like I've got a lot more anxiety knowing that you know what happened and everything so yeah it's been a different type of first scan experience than it was with Amber's um but overall like you know after taking the few days to like process it we just feel really grateful and like accepting of however we're feeling like you know feeling protective or or overly kind of a bit anxious about it is is completely normal and so we're just trying to be kind to ourselves with that i'm actually going to start cooking while I chat to you guys. James and Amber have gone out on like an early evening walk. James wanted to get some fresh air and just take all the babies and I was like I'm not feeling it so I thought it'd be nice to do like a vlogging stint because I love chatting to you guys when I'm like I get lonely easily. I'm not good on my own so I like chatting to you guys when I'm on my own. I know you haven't seen much of James um, or Amber really in this vlog much yet and I'm sorry about that but um, I guess I've been a little bit kind of just kind of trying to catch you up wherever I can at the moment because the first trimester sucks I hate it so much okay anyway I'm gonna make um I say um a lot I think I'm my brain's like quite slow at the moment I'm like I don't feel like myself I'm very slow uh I'm gonna make something that is like my biggest pregnancy craving I craved all these like separate things when I uh, was pregnant with Amber and now I've made like the co jumbo combination of them all mixed together and I just got to show you what it is because you'll probably be like ooh that's disgusting but it's the only thing that makes me not go ooh so I get tomato soup I'll just show you as I go but anyway let's cook cook some pasta I am starting to get like glimpses back of how I usually feel when I'm not in the first trimester which is Glorious. I don't know if you can see me over there. Putting some pasta on to boil. 
yeah, so I'm starting to get some glimpses back. Um, the symptoms sort of changed. I think, I can't remember what, what the type of last things that I was vlogging was, but kind of earlier on, um, I was very, really, really nauseous. And I know that my kind of fear of being sick holds me back from being sick a lot of the time. So um, I stay quite nauseous because I don't want to be sick when often actually being sick does help. This happened again with Amber, like towards the end of the first trimester, which is kind of how we're getting towards now, like towards 10, 11, 12 weeks. I kind of like can't help it. I just start being sick and the same thing has happened now. Um, it just kind of comes out. Uh, so yeah, I haven't been dealing the best with that, if I'm honest. Um, so I make it a lot worse for myself by feeling that way. You know, not that it's, you know, feels like I'm, you know, in control of not being able to feel like that. Um, I know so many of you will be able to relate because um, I've spoken about it before of having a fear of throwing up and it sucks when it just got, it's just got to come out sometimes, hasn't it? Like you you can stop it all you want, but sometimes your body just goes, hun, this is coming out. So that's what's been happening to me lately. I was throwing up yesterday when James was putting Amber to bed, so he couldn't come and comfort me, <laughs> even though he could hear me going, Bleh. and I was going, oh, I'm so proud of you, like you're doing really well. <laughs> Um, and yeah, it was actually really nice to do that and just kind of be proud of myself for that. So yeah, on a whole, I'm still not feeling, still not, i put it in my sea mug. My sea mug. You know, I'm still feeling that first trimester vibe and I'm just really looking forward to being out the first trimester and I'm just looking forward to all the things that I'm going to do and how I'm going to feel like myself again. Um, and it's going to be glorious. So what I'm doing at the moment is just pouring my cream of tomato sauce. I need to redo my nails, guys. This is like, I think this goes to show that I am not feeling myself. Since I've got my little, uh, what's that, two minutes. Since I've got my little gel kit, there hasn't been many days I haven't had a full set of nails done. Um, I've got three, four hanging on and the rest I've chewed off and that just goes to show I'm just not, just not cat wrist right now, guys. What I'm still really thankful for is that with Amber, I completely couldn't keep any food down. Um, whereas I do find with this pregnancy, it's the opposite. I've got to eat these weird craving foods little and often. Oh wait, I don't know why I'm heating up my tomato sauce yet. My pasta's not done. I'll put a hold on that and I'll get my cheese to do my cheese grating. So yeah, I'm sorry for the boringness of this video. I mean, this is a bit of a niche vlog, isn't it? So I know you're probably only here if, I don't know, you can relay or I'm not sure, maybe, maybe no one's here because I'm just literally enjoying chatting as I go, trying to get my cheese undone. I'm gonna grate it. So my kind of cravings are basically like tomato soup, anything tomato-y, pot noodles, super noodles you don't even want to know how many super noodles i've eaten i eat at least one meal a day is pot noodle or super noodle i know it's not good for me guys but the pregnancy body gets what the pregnancy body wants it's as simple as that if i try and eat something like you know that my body isn't feeling it's not going to stay down it's just going to come right back up so it's absolutely pointless so i just have to cave into the pot noodle life I love a pot noodle, even when I'm not pregnant, but my craving goes through the roof for like pastry, sticky, tomato-y, cheesy, things like that. It was really similar with Amber, actually. In terms of like scans and checking on baby, um, I'm so excited to go back for another scan and see how he or she is doing. So excited to find out what we're having. So I think we we did like an, we kind of found out with like an early, I know you can get like a, like a mixed, I can't remember what they call it now, like a package test thing, and you can get like the gender bloods done early, um, which we did with Amber. So I think we'll do that again because we wanted to go back and get another scan anyway. So I think you can just get them all done together. So we'll wait till about 11 weeks to do that. So that'll be next time we see baby, which will be nice. I'm enjoying sharing like the first trimester. Um, I think it's hard like knowing how, what to share. Like I do find the online space difficult like to na to navigate how much to share and I know James struggles with that as well and I know it's really common like a lot of influencers and people online struggle with that because there's always going to be people that say you're saying the wrong thing or you know you didn't show enough or you showed too much or you know kind of like there's no really point in thinking 
about that when you're producing content so I'm just trying to share whatever comes out of my mouth and whatever is the way I'm feeling and like I said it's really just there for people who want to watch it so god I sound like a bummer it's really just there for people who want to watch it <laughs> look how much cheese I've grated for myself guys what have I done I've literally grated a whole bowl I'm not gonna lie I can easily eat all that but Mmm, -hmm. mm. that's a bit of a taste test actually. Oh, I'll tell you what else I bought for myself, which I could. Mmm, tell you what, we went all out today. We had a bit of a cheese shortage in the supermarket. Taste the difference, extra mature West Country Farmhouse cheddar. How posh does that sound? Oh, I'll tell you what, that tastes incredible. Wow, 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 wow. What was I saying? Oh yeah, I'll show you what else I bought. Just pop my cheese in a little container. I'll put it back in the fridge. I went, when we were shopping earlier, I went like, I snuck away from James and Amber and I came back like, oh, 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 oh. and James was like, mm, as I was walking up to him, I was like, oh, oh, oh. And I was like, it's Prosecco. I bought Prosecco for myself. Only a little one though. Um, and he was like, you all right, hun? You can't have that. And I was like, babes, it's no seco. Alcohol free. It's probably gonna be disgusting, guys. I'm gonna pop that tonight. I'll let you know how it goes. Might even jump. I'll jump back on, guys. I'll jump back on here later with James. When Sam has gone to bed for a little taste test of my no seco to celebrate creeping towards the end of the first trimester. Oh, I've been recording for 15 minutes. Blimmin' at Karis. Karis! What am I doing? Rinsing my pasta. Right, I will be back when I combine and show you what, what the dealio is. Okay guys, so we've got pasta, cheese, tomato soup. So, excuse the food stains. It's just from having a baby. So, we've I've, I've poured out a bit of the tomato ketchup to get it about, you know, like not so high to the top because then we've got to add the stuff. So we start by adding a little bit of pasta. I did do way too much pasta because um, I'm actually making Amber some avocado cream cheese pasta for dinner. So we put a little bit of pasta. Then we put a little bit of cheese. Then we put a little bit of pasta. Oh, that's hot. Then we put a little bit of cheese. A lot of cheese. Mix it all in. That is disgusting. I know, guys. I've heard it all before. I've got a James in my life. And I'm like, honey, the pregnancy body asks for what the pregnancy body asks for. We don't complain, we don't, we don't put up a fight. A little bit more pasta and a little bit more cheese. Wow, look, honestly, let me tell you, that sorts all my pregnancy problems right there in one mug. I know guys, it looks so unappetizing. I'm sorry you had to see that, but I just wanted to show you. <laughs> Hello guys, it is a few days later. James is slaving away. Where are you? Oh, you're literally over there. Oh, nice sun shadows going in over there. I'm just turn off the radio. Didn't realise the radio was on. I did say I was going to come back and pop the No Seco Prosecco last time. And I just felt so sick after dinner. I didn't have it at all. And I just thought, I'll pick up the camera and explain how I'm feeling now. Even though it's only a few days later. Because honestly, this is just reminding me how savage pregnancy fatigue can be. I feel literally sick with tiredness. I've just put Amber to bed. To be fair, we've had a busy day. So like, I feel like you're literally knackered, aren't you? I am very tired, <laughs> yeah. James is tired bad. and I know normally I'd be tired anyway, but like then it just, the pregnancy just tips over the edge. So like this morning I made this, which was absolutely fine. It was like easy peasy. We made this little bench, like kitchen tower thing. It doesn't go there, it goes wherever. Amber goes in the kitchen. And then this afternoon, yeah, draining. Energetic. Yeah, more so than usual. Energetic. Well, you did so much more, but... No, but like, you, like, do, you haven't done much at this first trimester. Yeah. Physically. I get exactly. Thank you, boo. But we physically... Hi, Mila. Hi, baby. You're loving the outside still, aren't you? We've been with Mila out in the garden all day. You've been absolutely loving life. So, yeah, then we spent the rest of the day in the garden. The garden is an absolute mess now. Building this. We have literally just finished making it and then we had dinner and Amber went straight to bed. Amber could not, she was like, we were like literally doing the last screws and stuff and Amber could not get enough of this slide. She was up and down and up and down. She 
loved it and it's so cool. I love it so much. I mean, I don't know why I'm giving you a tour. I'm sure you've probably seen it in a vlog before this. But anyway, we built that today. And it's just like any type of thing like that, like Ikea furniture vibes. It is exhausting mentally, physically, draining. And then you add the pregnancy tiredness on the top. And it is just my whole body is aching. It's seven o'clock and I'm going straight to bed. And I know it's weird and I know it's pregnant, like as in I know it's weird in terms of I know this is unusual for me and I that that's why I know that it's pregnancy rather than me just being tired normally because um I was like it with Amber in my first trimester and then ever since the first trimester, second trimester after having Amber, literally sleep deprived with a newborn, like not sleeping for weeks, like up through the night. I never felt like this. There's just something else about pregnancy fatigue. Every inch, even my toenails aching. It's just something else. My eyelids just want to shut. Like I, I could go to sleep just right now. Matt, it's like honestly like so strange. So yeah, that's a little update. Um, not much else. My eyes still flaring up. My skin like flared up loads with amber in the first trimester too and then it like my eczema disappeared in the second and third trimester and for like a year after having amber it was magical i'm just waiting for that to happen um if it doesn't i'm gonna be very disappointed god i look rough i look rough guys so i just thought i'd document my not very nice experience i just had and to be honest the not very nice experience just made me feel really freaking grateful for having james around because he's not around at the moment. He's gone out with, um, I've just put Amber down to bed. It's made me realize that I've never, I've been sick quite a lot this pregnancy, like physically sick. And James has, has happened to be around all the time when Amber's been awake. Um, so like he'll distract her or something. Cause it's not a very nice sound, is it? It's not a very nice thing for your mum for Amber to kind of watch her mum doing in the toilet. <laughs> she doesn't know what's going on. So James to take her away, I haven't really thought much of it. And then I was just doing her bedtime routine, reading her little duck book, and it just come up on me. I was like, I'm, I'm gonna be sick. So I gave her a duck book and I said, just read the duck book a minute for me. Sorry, I breathe so heavy and I feel nauseous because I just feel like I need to control my anxiety breathing. Just have your um, duck book a minute. Mummy's just going to the toilet. <laughs> Obviously, next thing she hears is bleh, like, I'm sorry if you, that is TMI, but we all know what throwing up sounds like. Bleh, into the toilet. She throws a book. I hear, I hear the book clatter. She runs into the bathroom. Mama? She goes, Mama. Oh, my heart was gone. I was in tears. I was like, Mummy's okay, darling. Bleh. And she comes over and she puts her hand on my shoulder peering into the toilet. Mama? Oh, I couldn't stream in tears I was. But it made me much, much, it made me so calm, her being with me, because I just didn't want her to think anything was wrong. And I was just like really, felt actually really calm compared to how anxious and kind of like, I get horrendous when I'm thrown up because I just can't, I just don't like it, obviously. <laughs> and it just made me so calm because I was just wanted her to be okay. I just didn't want her to think anything was going on. And I was like, mummy's not just not feeling very well at the moment, but I feel better already. And like she was giving me a hug in between each time I was being sick. And then every time I was sick, she was really upset. Like she was crying. She kind of burst out crying. And then once I was like, mummy's fine. She was like hugging me and being like, mama. Oh, it was just, just can't wait guys for this to be over. I don't know how much longer I can do it. <laughs> And like I say, I'm just so grateful because some people have to do that. I know it sounds like so silly because to some of you, that's literally going to have been your every day in your pregnancy with sickness, doing it on your own with your other babies. And I just, I just think you're all amazing because it was really hard <laughs> and I really missed having James about... <laughs> But yeah, it would put things in perspective. I mean, I'm always, I feel grateful every day that we get to work from home together, but it's things like that that you don't realize how hard they are for other people when they're at home with sickness. 
and there are the babies don't know what's going on it's just so hard but i'm coming to the end of it so i'm really grateful that hopefully god i hope so that i'll be feeling better soon i just be able to be a better mum and all that yeah hello i feel like there's a lot of mess going on in the background even just from what you can see if you could see the other half of the room can't even look at it guys can't even face it right now so i'm 11 weeks i still feel and look like poo i just saw a um TikTok, which really actually made me smile. Um, it was someone who was pregnant and it was like, uh, the caption was like, oh, that's really loud. Hang on. Yeah, the caption was like, uh, this pregnancy just makes me want to throw up at everything. And it was like her CCTV footage of her like putting out the bins. And she was like pouring the bin into the bin and just going, bleh, bleh. <laughs> and I just like, just seeing that just made me so happy because I just was like, you know what, I'm not alone. Because <laughs> I've I've been putting off, I think, coming on the past few days to vlog. Because I was like, Karis, like all you've done, and I guess this is what this video was kind of meant to be, but all I've literally done on this video is kind of complain and cry and complain about being sick and feeling sick. Same old really, every single thing makes me want to gag, makes does make me gag and be sick and um, I hate the smell of my house. I hate the smell of James when he's been in the shower. Amber was with my mum yesterday evening and my mum gave her a bath and she used like a new bath product on her. It's just like a smelly baby shampoo. And I, <laughs> my freshly washed baby made me, sent me. And it just sucks because it's all the things that I love about my life usually. It's just like now makes me want to throw up. And it makes me really angry as well. Like I don't like, I don't like feeling like that. And I get really angry that like, why do we have to feel like that? I don't get it. I don't get like what part of pregnancy like needs to be like that. Like I get the tiredness. I get like, I get it. But like, I know it's to do with hormones and I keep saying it in every blooming clip. But it's just how I feel. I just feel angry that I don't like the smell of my baby and I don't like the smell of my husband and I don't like the smell of my house and we just had carpet put down just before I got pregnant in the bedroom not the one that we're sleeping in but the one that we're doing our bedroom transformation of and like I can't even go in there without being sick like I just find this really hard but also I don't want this video to like scare anyone or put anyone off pregnancy like I literally a adore pregnancy I adore it so so much um but also I did want to share the more real sides to things I think it's really good to share that and there's loads of that online more these days about people sharing but it's so hard to get that balance between you know you share too much of the negatives and people say you're being overly negative or you share too many positives and people say you're not sharing the things that are hard so I'm just going to share whatever I'm feeling but the truth is that I adore pregnancy just not the first trimester <laughs> i just find it so so hard i don't feel like myself at all oh my god like every, literally every clip i'm like crying in. <laughs> i feel like i don't even cry that much usually <laughs> what is this james's t-shirt <laughs> i feel like i don't have any of the things that are like what i like about myself any of my hobbies i don't even like I want to get up in the morning sometimes because I just don't want to feel sick all day. And I just thought we would be getting a little bit better by now at 11 weeks. I don't really know when I started feeling better with Amber because I stopped being sick. At, sorry, I'm just going to gather myself for a minute. Hang on. I started feeling sick. I stopped being sick at 14 weeks with Amber. Um, But from about 12 to 14 weeks with Amber, um, I started associating the smells in the house so much with being sick that I believed that it had become a mental association with being sick so I didn't actually feel that nauseous it's just every time I smelt my own house my staircase my bathroom I would be sick um 
And so I felt like it was more of like a mental behavioral link that I'd created in my head. So I went to see a hypnotherapist with Amber um, and literally I had like one session with the hypnotherapist and I was never sick again. So it really was an amazing thing that, you know, it clearly was such a, a kind of mental link that I had and that really, really helped. So I don't really know when without that mental link, the sickness would have stopped. And I think a big positive that I'm trying to think of in this pregnancy and I was talking to my mum yesterday and she was saying like, you know, this pregnancy does seem better than the last one. And I was saying to her, I think it probably does seem better and it probably is better because the la the first time this happened, I felt really traumatized by it because I didn't, I I couldn't really get my head around it. I, I, I'd never felt nauseous in my life. Like in literally like 25 years, I'd never felt nausea before. And all of a sudden, like I, I didn't understand, like I could not wrap my head around the fact that I, I suddenly, I've had the same staircase in this house for the whole time since we moved in and now I like repulsed by it. A staircase, the smell of a staircase, what? So I was kind of really traumatized by it and I couldn't get over it. And so I, I was sort of, I went to my mum's a lot. I slept at my mum's um, a bit because my mum and dad's because I couldn't face my own house and I was very catastrophizing things. I was like, this is what the whole nine months is gonna be like. You know, I was, I was just really shot in a lot of shock I think and that brought me to tears a lot and this time it has been better obviously I'm blooming tearing up every time I speak to you guys um but it's a positive it, I hope you know that it's, it's like I'm finding this really really helpful I'm really really a positive in this journey is um speaking to you guys and crying to you guys so yeah hopefully we're gonna book another scan soon oh I get my 12 week scan soon of course um so that's really exciting um, I just want to feel a bit better, see baby again and like really reconnect with that side of pregnancy that I love and I know it's so near, I'm going to be there soon, I'm going to be loving it. <laughs> oh I'm off again, anyway, it won't be long now. <laughs> just feel sorry for the baby as well, like, <laughs> everything I bloom and eat I like throw up and How's the baby getting any nutrients? I go really Welsh when I cry, I think. Anyway, oh my God, I'm catch up with you guys soon. <laughs> guys, so, hello you. Hi, do you waving? You don't remember. <gasps> Yay, that's so nice. We're out in the garden today. It's one of those boiling days, which you can probably remember from August. Um, the grass is literally going completely brown because it's just so hot. We've got the climbing frame up, she's up and down the slide, she's playing with the water. It's just great fun here in our household. Um, James has actually gone for a nap. He's absolutely exhausted. He's been on... Hello, baby. He's been on the most amazing dad duty every single morning. Like I said, he's been letting me have a little cheeky lion, hasn't he? And so, um, yeah, he's having a little nap. <laughs> what are you laughing at? What are you laughing at? Um, oh, can you see pictures of your baby brother or sister? Who's this? Emma. You think it's mummy? It is kind of. Is it your baby? Your baby sister, baby brother. Baby. Can you see the baby? Baby, baby, baby. That's so nice. So, I thought I would actually, I'm feeling a bit more human today. I went this morning and had... Yeah. Oh, crumpling. Oh, crumpled, crumpled baby photos now. We, I went this morning to have my hair done. So I'm feeling a little bit more human um, today. Baby's gonna play with the poppet. She loves this little poppet thing. Yes, I've had my hair done and I'm actually having a really good day today. Like I'm not feeling too nauseous. I haven't thrown up yet. Yeah, and I just feel like a lot of, a lot, a lot. You all right? A lot, a lot of the last clips have been very cryy and complainy as, you know, a reflection, which is the true reflection of how I've been feeling and everything. I just thought it was... A... Yeah! <laughs> what are you cheeky sausage? I just thought it was a nice idea to come on and chat a bit about feeling more positive and stuff because... <laughs> You've got lolly round your mouth, Missy. You're giving it away that we've been having lollies. Oh my goodness. We've been just sat in the garden having ice lollies. It's like one of the... <laughs> Why are you just fussing into laughing? You cheeky, I'm gonna come for you. I'm gonna come for you. 
<laughs> I'm gonna come for you. <laughs> yeah, we've been having. <laughs> I know you're not even upset one bit this evening. <laughs> She's such a wacky toddler now. I love it. Like <laughs> you're not even upset. <laughs> It sounds like she's upset and she's literally just so... <laughs> You're not funny. You're not funny. Oh, I'm so upset. Help me, mummy, help me. She's just like... <laughs> no. She's laughing into crying. <laughs> this is why I can't vlog with you anymore, Missy. Um, excuse me. You're going to go on your slide? Go on your slide. Go and I fell on the slide. Shall I hold this for you? You go on the slide. Go on, show them. Do you want to show these guys you're going down the slide? Off she goes. Here we go, guys. Honestly, this little climbing frame we got is so amazing. It's going to follow her like as she grows up, but this, these steps are a bit challenging. So she uses this chair. I know it looks absolutely lethal, but she's literally, guys, done this non-stop every day since we got it, and she is an absolute pro at climbing. <laughs> she has a little pier over that side. And we go down the slide. Ready? You love to be a bit of drama here, don't you? You love to keep us waiting. One, two, three, go! Run, 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 run! Oh, you're going again. Perfect. Keep going. Yeah, I'm feeling a bit better and I'm feeling really positive. Like, I think the scan yesterday was so nice. We went into it. So it, the scan was the one that we, I think I said, I booked for about 10, 11 weeks. And we've just been, ever since the first scan, feeling like very nervous, very kind of anxious. And we both went into it yesterday feeling really sick, really anxious. And it was just the best experience ever, especially given the kind of harder experience we had with the first one, when we, which we thought was going to be like really magical. And that was harder than we thought. And then this one was just like really magical. Like both of it came out of, both of us came out of it like beaming, like James literally couldn't stop saying, oh my God, I really enjoyed that. Like I just loved seeing baby and it was just really special. So yeah, we saw baby was all healthy, like super duper healthy. So 10 weeks and one, oh, it says 10 weeks and one day, but that's wrong. It's actually 10 weeks and four days. She told us that was just following on from what it was. You all right? What it was measured as, for, as, as last time, but then when she measured it this time, it was actually different. But there's no point in her kind of changing it on there because obviously we're just going to go off the NHS 12 week scan, which is in two weeks now. It's actually it when I'm 13 weeks, I think. So yeah, the, we'll have like the proper due date and everything then. Yeah. <laughs> she was like, oh, the baby's so like fully formed. She was like, he's got like he. I say, oh my God, I said he. I don't know yet whether it's a he or she. I sometimes say she, I just said he. He, she has all... Um, like limbs and like she was showing us the jaw and everything she was like all like fully developed ready to just grow now and I was like that is crazy like it's so so crazy and I think it was just really special like we saw the baby kicking his arms and legs and like kind of moving up and down and it really brought the whole pregnancy to life and I was like okay I can do this I can do this first trimester for a few more weeks and I'm just feeling really grateful that I'm having a great day today even though I have definitely been struggling a lot. <laughs> I've been struggling a lot and I don't really know how on a whole it's been reflected in the video. I know that I've been having good days and bad days throughout the video so I'm sure that's probably been reflected. Yeah, I've been struggling with motivation. I've been struggling with... You okay? Oh, thank you. Would you like to put Duck in here? Where's Duck? There he is. Should we put him in the box? Should we see if he likes going in here? What? Oh, there he is. Oh, I think he likes it in there. Duck. Duck, yeah, I think he likes it. Quack, quack. Quack. <laughs> oh, is the box feel a bit spiky? These feel a bit spiky, don't they? Can you lean over that way? Ta-da. Duck. 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 So, yes, anyway, feeling good. Um, Tomorrow is going to be a new day. It could be worse. It could be better. <laughs> Duck. Anyway, I'm going to go and enjoy the sun with Amber, and I will catch up with you guys very soon. So it is a few days later now. Gosh, how many? My 11, just over 11 weeks maybe? Yeah, around then. As you can probably tell I'm feeling better, but that is actually because I was feeling worse. And so I really thought that by kind of like 11, 12, 
weeks obviously i'm not 12 yet i'm just around like 11 i would be feeling a lot better i'm not sure if it's the heat so currently this like when i'm filming now is like in that second heat wave you know when it's getting up to like 36 degrees and we're just not coping here in the uk so i don't know whether that's one of the things that's making my sickness worse but my sickness is getting worse and i'm throwing up more often um and i i think the same thing did happen towards the end with amber because with amber my symptoms were slightly different i literally couldn't like keep any food or drink down so i was losing a lot of weight um so um, I went on to cyclozine, which is the anti-sickness tablet um, with Amber. So I've gone back on to cyclozine now with this pregnancy. I guess I just, I put it off for as long as I can because I, I don't know. I don't know why I'm not a fan of taking medication. I'm just not a fan of it. Not even paracetamol, like ibuprofen. I just not, I like to know what my body's up to. I don't know. I don't know why. It's really weird. I've always been like that. So I'd rather not take it. But yeah, with Amber, I got to a point where I was like, okay, actually this is getting really much worse. Um, and this time around, just being like a zombie, being sick, like literally my mum's dog farted and that sent me, sent me to the loo. Ugh. Like, she was like, this isn't quality of life. <laughs> and yeah, like I remember with Amber, I was like really concerned about losing weight and like not being able to eat actual meals and like feeling like this just wasn't healthy or good for my baby. And I think I got to that point again with this pregnancy and so I was like right let's just do the same thing as last time I don't remember them helping that much last time with Amber but this time they've really really helped I still feel a little bit sick like I'd still be like ooh something's I still feel like you know I can't have a cup of tea or I can't like do things like that it hasn't like gotten rid of it completely but it's allowed me to eat meals to drink lots of water because again when I was feeling super nauseous I couldn't drink a lot of water like all in one go it'd be tiny sips so then by the end of the day, I hadn't actually drunk that much. So I feel like it was just the right option. Um, and I feel so much better in myself. I'm drinking loads, I'm eating loads. Um, I did actually still, I was actually still sick yesterday, even though I was on the tablets. So that was weird, but I think that was just a one-off. I'm hoping it is. Um, Cause yeah, I've just got a lot more, I feel a lot more like Karis. I've gotten ready today. I've filmed some stuff, some content. And I just feel like me again. So that feels really good. We've got our scan. I think coming up i think when i'm oh yeah i said that as well didn't i when i'm 13 weeks i've got the scan roughly 12 13 weeks and um, so yeah i'll catch up with you guys soon so guys oh you've matched me that's lovely and intentional i don't think you can say two people wearing white tops is kind of matching especially because yours not even you're don't green so. you're green matching. so guys i don't even think james has been in this clip since we went to the scan yeah literally since we went to the scan wasn't it I mean, literally, that wasn't that long ago. But we are 12... We... We... I feel it. I, feel I know, it. we've gone, we've had Nando's. Um, <laughs> and we feel a bit bloated. Yes, we do. But I've also we got do. the bump. Um, no, you just had your in the cell release that you only shot a day ago. So yeah. anyone in the tech clothes, like, are you pregnant? No. Well, that could come across quite rude. No, you? yeah. Because are you pregnant if you just had a Nando's? Are you pregnant? No, I just look, I look like this before when I was pregnant. <laughs> this is just my little belly still. Um, well, I do think I've actually got a bump now because I'm 12 I weeks. I think you've got a bump. Today, yeah. Definitely. Rude. No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Not even that. No, no. It. We definitely do because it's like hard and at the bottom. Yeah. And also the midwife and other people I follow on Instagram, like by 16 weeks with your second baby, apparently like you pop like so much, so much quicker. So like mm -hmm. 12 weeks is quite like, I do feel like you have a bump with a second bite. How'd you open that then? I think it's Twisted. just screwed up, yeah. That wasn't exciting. I know, it's not a pop. This is my no secco, because we're celebrating, we had an in the style release today that went live yeah. and then also Didn't 12 I weeks. Didn't I love on that photo shoot? So good. I know, I really helped sell the clothes guys. Well, thank you so much for buying my collection. Wow. Um, I know you all especially love the um, leather look jeans on me. Um, yes, we did. So You'd look you good in them those. though. You would look good. I'm trying to work on my glutes at the moment in the gym. They'd be popping in those leather leg yeah, jeans. Do a leg day every three weeks or nah, something. Can't open it's it. It's not actually growing. Okay. Can you open it? Could yeah. you just like. So this is the no secco. I was going to save it for a spare. Was that I've it? I've listened to it a lot, so you can just. So. Happy 12 weeks! Woo. Oh, sorry, is there no fizz to the no secco? Does no secco have no fizz? That's just really it upsetting. It's going to be sparking. 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 Should we drink from the bottle? 
Oh, is it really not good? I mean, that tastes... I, we do actually have a sec in the fridge. Should we just get on to that instead? Yeah. <laughs> this tastes kind of actually like how I mix my Prosecco with elderflower, so it kind of already does taste like that. Sorry, I was going to steal something from you, but that's fine. I'll, I'll drink that. <laughs> I'll force it down. Anything God, it's a gone tipsy. already. Is only one glass left? Yeah, I'll be tipsy after that, don't you worry. It is, that's nice, actually. It's non-alcoholic, by the way, for in case I didn't make that clear. No, no, Zecco. No, Zecco. <laughs> um, cheers. Is it truly like no, no, naughty, naughty, naughty percent? Naughty, naughty. Well, that's telling me it's not. It's like non-alcoholic and it's like, contains 0.01% oh. of alcohol. No, that's low alcohol. But does it say literally no alcohol? It just says alcohol free. Yeah, yeah no, like no, no alcohol, alcohol free is fine. Because usually it's like, you go to a restaurant and it's yeah. like, no alcohol and it's still got like 0.5%. Mm -hmm. like, what? That's when you no, beer. No, no, no. So yes, anyway, I was going to do a... <laughs> so... <laughs> So, oh, James, how have you found the last 12 weeks? 12 week update. Oh, um, so the first two weeks were lovely because we had a week of that in Mallorca. And um, I so didn't that feel really ill. Nice. Didn't that was feel nice. We didn't know that you were pregnant. That was good. That was really nice. And then um, the rest. I've been tough since. No, I've been fine no. with it. Like, yeah. I've, You've been I'm amazing. pleased that I've been able to like let you have lions here and there and stuff like yeah. that. And been amazing. Yeah. Amber, the couple and of times help. when you were being sick, she was so cute. Yeah, I think I told that story. That's so bad her, like, yeah. mommy. She doesn't get it. And I had to like, it was really strange because obviously the first, with Amber, we were like really in it together. Uh. Whereas I feel like a lot of I the time know. I'm like protecting Amber from seeing you being sick. And so you're like, <laughs> I feel really You have to hold my I hair up really, once. I have a couple of times. But oh, you most held of my the toggles. Time, like, yeah, I did yesterday when Amber was in bed. I, a couple of times, you like ran into the yeah. doctor's toilet, so I threw it out. And like Amber's been like going towards the see I you. know. And I've just gone in and I've shut the door and been like, good luck, Karis. <laughs> you go, girl. I know. You be that it's sick like, person. Bye and just then. shut the door and then like take Amber to the opposite side of the house. I know. Because I don't want her. Because she gets she so doesn't like it. confused and upset. She's like, mummy? Mama? 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 Why is um, your head down the toilet? That's so what that's you do hard. Pee. Yeah. But that is hard and it's different like you say yeah. and it just sums up how different it's going to be the whole thing you've been amazing i can't believe like you used to be so fearful of being sick and stuff and yeah now, like well i'm um, much are, better aren't i better. and i even got better throughout this like the first time a few times i was sick in this oh, yeah. in this pregnancy i was still couldn't really breathe yet yeah. i like um, but yeah but towards the end that's i was like that. i'm fine amber you i'm was, fine you'd be so good i was saying in the last clips that I think I vlogged on here that I'd gone on the cyclozine and I felt better and so I was only on that for a few oh. days. What? <laughs> when you said cyclozine and I knew you did that spin session. So I was like, is this like a new word for the Peloton, the spin God, bike? Yeah, I, did a... I went on the, cy the cyclozine outside the in the cyclozine. gym. I went on the cyclozine and I felt better after that. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely not. I did try a spin session the other day. That was very slow, wasn't it? That'll be my one pregnancy workout. Sorry, that sounded really rude. You went You very went very slow. slow. I was out there with you. Um, were your legs moving? <laughs> it was only 10 minutes. Very slow. <laughs> you, did you go anywhere? Um, <laughs> what was the kilometres? 0.1 kilometre. I was literally it's like... Cool. 10 minutes. No, it was good, it was good. Then I forgot to take one one evening and I felt fine. I was like, oh, I feel much better. So then I didn't take them since then. And then, so since then, like a few days it's been now, like I've felt so much better. And, and I, you took them for like three days. Didn't yeah, you? I didn't take them for long at all. Um, and I just think maybe they just, they literally just handed me over for those past few days where I was really feeling mm. rough. And I was just like, I can't take it anymore. So like now I've got my energy back. I'm obviously like physically coming to the end of the first trimester with that like exhaustion. So I'm until 10 o'clock this morning. I know. Like, no one knew you've got your energy back. No, but do you remember like yeah, when I was like I literally I seven know. weeks and I'd like sleep, lie in, yeah. lie in then know. go back to bed when she napped, Mental. then go back to bed in the afternoon. Crazy. Oh, like That's like nuts. Yeah. And then sleep 12 hours in the night or something crazy. Feeling loads better, um, but I'm still kind of like randomly being sick. I can still smell the smells, like all of that still like, like we've got some photo frames delivered today and I'm like, mm -hmm. they stink. Yeah. They literally stink. So onwards and upwards, really excited. We've got a scan next week. Um, literally a few days now, isn't it? Yeah, so I'm gonna end this vlog here because I've been vlogging so much in this vlog. And then I'm gonna do a second vlog, which is like into the second trimester. So like 12 weeks and beyond. Into the um, unknown. <laughs> Into the unknown. Into the unknown. Oh my.
Do you like that? <laughs> I know. I know. I'm still waiting to hit puberty. How's your urban mate tea? Hmm? It's nice. Yerba mate. Yeah, mate. Yeah, mate. Your mum bought us these about six Your months mom. ago now, and I'm just um, drinking them extraordinarily slowly. Oh. It smells and has a little aftertaste of tobacco. I don't think it does have any tobacco in it. I doubt it, darling. <laughs> darling, I really don't think so. I do so. doubt it. Otherwise, it's a have health have, like, tea. A, a label of a black yeah, and on the Yeah, it would not have there. tobacco in it. It's, a health, <laughs> it's like a health cleansing tea. But it's, it's not kind of like really. Mm -hmm. Do you get what I mean? Do you get what I mean? Yeah, it tastes of like nothing. Oh, okay. I'm still not drinking teas or coffees because bleh, still not fancying them. But hopefully my tea love, my love for tea will come back because I'm missing a cup of tea in the morning. I'm just holding it here for you. No. Like under a little sip. So yeah, I keep saying so yeah. Basically, I'll see you guys in the next second trimester vlog thank you so much for being here i know i've said it a million times in this vlog but it's helped me so much having you guys to talk to and um, it's hard enough kind of like not telling you know i'm literally such a talkative talkative person i like telling everyone everything so i do struggle not being able to what are you doing trying to get my ears twiggle not <laughs> not telling anyone this first trimester <laughs> but having you guys to explain everything to has been the best um yeah, I know this vlog probably isn't for everyone because it's just like me crying and complaining. And I know every pregnancy is different. So some of you probably relate, some of you probably can't, but I've enjoyed sharing my experience. Um, and I hope that you've enjoyed watching. If you're still here, round of applause. Round of applause, make it to the end, guys. Bravo. Love you guys. And I will see you in the next trimester vlog. Bye-bye. for watching my vlog. <laughs> See you literally in like one second of it. Bye. Bye.